Okay. Uh, all right. This was going to be this going to be a pretty quick video, um, just because uh, we've already done a lot with solving two-step equations and two-step inequalities is very much the same thing. Our essential question is going to be how is solving inequalities similar to solving equations. So we're still using that mindset of solving an inequality is the same, the same process as solving an equation. Um, all right, so let's get into some steps about it, about how to solve an inequality. Um, so the first thing which you're always going to want to look for is if you need to combine any like terms or distribute. Remember, we need to make sure that there's none of that first. So combine any like terms, distribute. We need to look at that. After we do that, then we should um, have just a two-step inequality. Then remember, we're always going to get rid of our the addition or subtraction first. And then we'll get rid of the multiplication and division last. So these two are our biggest important ones because those will happen every single time in a two-step. This one, this is just depends if there. Okay, so you may not always do step one. Um, if, if you do have to combine like terms or distribute, it might be there, but you'll always have to do two and three. And then I'm also just going to kind of put in here as like a fourth one. We will be, you will need to graph. Okay. I'm just going to do three examples, and then that's going to be the video for today. So our first one's going to be negative 2 is less than 5 minus k over 2. All right, again, I get it. There's nothing to distribute or to combine, so I just solve the two-step. It's just like solving uh, equations, so I'm going to get rid of this negative 5, or I'm going to get rid of the positive 5 by subtracting 5 from each side. Oh, well, let me do this in blue so I keep the colors the same. Or I'll do this, I mean, back in purple. So I get negative 7 is less than negative k over 2. I'm going to move this negative down here with my 2 just so I see that because my next step is going to be to multiply, and I want to make sure I remember I need to multiply by a negative 2 there. Because if I don't, if I just multiply by 2, I get negative k. I don't want negative k, I just want k. So I multiply both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 7 is a positive 14. I just have k left on this side. And then remember, because I multiply by a negative, I flip the sign. So multiply by negative, flip the sign. Don't get a careless error because you were not flipping that sign. Multiply divide by negative, you flip the sign. Okay. Now I know you don't have a graph on your thing, so we're just going to sketch. We're just going to do a quick sketch of a graph out. Nothing fancy. Remember, I just need three lines on your graph. I'm going to put 14 on there because that is where this is at. Then I'm going to go one above, which is 15, and one below, which is 13. Okay. I'm going to make an open circle because this is just, this is saying that 14 is greater than K. So it's an open circle. And if 14 is greater than K, that means K is going to be less than 14. So you can leave your answer like that. You could also, if it helps you, switch it around too. So both of these answers work. And then there's my graph for it. All right, next example, 1.3m minus 3.8 is less than negative 1.2. I add 3.8 to each side. 1.3m 
is going to be less than, remember this is a negative 1.2, so then that gives me 2.6, divide both sides by 1.3, so m is going to be less than 2, I don't flip it because I did not multiply by a negative. So my graph, put two in the middle, three is one above, one is one below, open circle at two because it's just um, m is less than, so I shade there. Okay, last. Example, like I said, I'm going to fly through this, through this video. All right, 4.8 is greater than or equal to 0 0.3 parentheses. It's a really ugly parentheses right there. Parentheses 12 minus y. Now, in this one, I have parentheses, so I do need to distribute. So, I do need to make sure I distribute, and I distribute to both things inside. So, this is still 4.8. This is still greater than or equal to. But now I'm going to do, okay, 0.3 times 12, which gives me 3.6. And then 0.3 times, remember this, I can kind of make into a negative 1. Why? So 0.3 times negative 1y is going to give me negative 0.3y. Okay. Um, it is make sure that you do distribute to that second one as well. A lot of you guys do good distributing the first, but the second one is a little bit harder. Okay. Now I have my two step and I solve. So I'm minus 3.6 from each side right there on my left hand side I'm going to be left with one let me cross that out 1.2 is greater than or equal to negative 0.3 y so I divide each side by negative 0 0.3 negative 0 0.3 that means 4 is less than or equal to, because I divided by a negative, I flip that sign around. So 4 is less than or equal to y. So my graph I have 4 in the middle, 5, then 3. This one is a closed circle, because I it is equal to, it is 4 is less than or equal to y. So 4 is less than or equal to y. That means y has to be greater. So I could always flip this around and say y is greater than or equal to 4. So then there is my graph. All right. That is it for these notes. Whatever questions you have, bring them to class.